I think the thing that would be really interesting for the audience to think about is how you could build a festival and make a festival grow, but not make it grow in terms of the numbers that visit, in terms of actually growing a festival, growing an element that is always used in a light festival, so to plant an area of really light coloured trees and then to have that as something that grows and is used by artists for exhibiting different expressions with light and different uh, ways of working with nature and light. For good health and sleep of people, it's important to have a light-dark cycle with natural brightness during daytime and natural darkness at night. So if you want to reduce the impact on our natural environment, on the ecosystem around us, it's very important to be very careful with light, to minimize light, to make a clever lighting design. And if it comes to special lighting, for example with more reddish light, then you really have to know uh, the local circumstances on to, to predict the effectiveness of this special light. The message we want to give to people is to think from different perspectives, if you think about lighting in the public domain. Think of health of people, think of uh, sustainability, think of uh, ecology, think of all different aspects of uh, lighting, the implications of lighting for a human being, but also for nature and also for even for the economy and the consequences for economy. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah.